everyone and welcome back to Obsessive Chicks. Today's discussion and tutorial is going to be you exploring with me about dehydrating cauliflower. Not just cauliflower, but cauliflower rice. And there's been a lot of discussion on my channel about what can we use to replace rice, pasta, things like that. And uh, dehydrating your cauliflower, you can make it shelf stable and then add it to other products. I'm gonna break down a head of cauliflower. I'm also going to do Trader Joe's cauliflower rice. I've also got bird's eye frozen cauliflower, pick sweet. I picked, I did, they didn't, they were out of the uh, regular cauliflower rice. And so I picked up the cauliflower rice with the edamame in it with uh, the uh, carrots. So I'm going to dehydrate that. And then also Trader Joe's organic cauliflower rice. And my daughter is big into keto and she truly believes in the Aldi cauliflower rice. She says when we do the dehydrating on the uh, bird's eye, it breaks down too much. What you think you have in product isn't. So stick along in the video because I'm going to take a cup or half a cup of each product and microwave it, show you the consistency of it. Then I'm going to put it in the dehydrator, dehydrate it and show you the outcome of that. And then also reconstitute our dehydrated cauliflower rice and see how each product turns out and what is better. Is it better to dehydrate your fresh something like Trader Joe's cauliflower rice in a bag, frozen. We're gonna find out together. So stick along and come along as we uh, dehydrate cauliflower rice. On your frozen vegetables, I already know I do not need to blanch them. When they go through their process at the factory, they are already blanched and put into the bags. So I'm not blanching any of this. Now my fresh, I'm gonna do blanched and unblanched and show you the difference on that. Okay, so we've got the frozen product and then also my Trader Joe's fresh in here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break this down in a food processor and then we're gonna blanch what I've got. And I'm gonna dehydrate this fresh and also blanched. Now, if you don't have a dehydrator, I strongly suggest to go out and purchase one. Like I said, I've used the Nesco for years and my daughter has my Nesco now. I've got the nine tray Excalibur and it is awesome. And I've got links down below if you're interested in, in to, uh, looking at them. And uh, you know, when your gardens come in and if you're not into canning or you are canning but you want a different way of uh, storing your, your fruits and vegetables, I strongly get a, a dehydrator. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and break my large cauliflower down. If you've got a huge amount of cauliflower that you wanna do, I would suggest pulling your food processor out and uh, doing it. But I've only got the one head and I'm not even gonna mess with pulling that sucker apart and cleaning it. And uh, a regular grater, if you don't have a food processor, will work just fine. It just takes a little longer to do the product. I have my fresh cauliflower on my sheet here that I'm putting in and I'm doing the fresh, not blanched. I've also left some here on my tray that I'm going to go ahead and blanch and then I'm gonna cook a half a cup like I am with the other product. So I just put my rice cauliflower in the fresh from Trader Joe's and I'm going to blanch it for exactly one minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and shock it with cold water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blanch my grated cauliflower and blanch it for one minute. So I have these trays here, and they're like the cafeteria trays, but I use the heck out of these. I've got them in burgundy and in orange, and you can pick them up at restaurant supplies, or I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase them. But they hold, you can see where they hold the mess versus being on your counter. So if I'm doing a lot of cheese, or if we grill and we're cutting the meat and you get all that juices instead of getting it on the counter, 
I keep the cutting board inside these trays and literally all the juices and everything stuck on the tray versus on our kitchen counter. So I've got the last batch blanched. I'm gonna pour out the water and I'm just gonna run some cold water on it just to shock it. Okay, so this is, I went ahead and put it on um, a paper towel so I can get the moisture off of it. That's the last one that I did, so I'm gonna put it up top here. I've got an order that I'm going in. And then this is our Trader Joe's cauliflower rice. I'm gonna go ahead and set my dehydrator to 125, and then I'm also going to go ahead and set my timer for I'm gonna call it six hours. Now if you want another example of dehydrating in a fuller view of dehydrating, I've got a couple videos, the links will be a bit down below, and uh, they're, uh, they're just a little bit more extensive. I'm not doing a video on how to dehydrate. This is comparison on different cauliflower rices. So check those videos out. Okay, so I have my cauliflower rice. I'm gonna microwave them for two minutes and we're gonna see what that texture is. I'm gonna start with my organic from Trader Joe's. Cauliflower rice, a little mushy. This is the bird's eye. Bird's eye doesn't have any flavor. Has a little bit more texture, but it doesn't have any flavor to it. The pig sweet, that has the uh, edamame in it and carrots and onions. So I know the flavor is going to be a little bit better. Can't say better, different. All I taste is onions. I taste no cauliflower in here at all. That's the pig sweet. Now I'm going to the fresh. Trader Joe's grated. Extremely crunchy. It's kind of like it didn't even get cooked. You're almost eating cauliflower. I would say that needs to definitely microwave longer. Now I'm doing my grated. Same thing. Both of those have the same texture. But but if you can see, I mean, real similar to rice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this and cook a meal with it and put this on top. So I'll have that in a different video for you to see how to, one of the ways to use cauliflower rice. Okay, so we've got our finished product here and I wanted to show you all before I put it into the bowls, the outcome that I've got here. So the, what you want is to have like a tray and some parchment. And then when you take out your sheets, you can literally just drop them out because the cauliflower rice, what it tends to do is it's falling through the uh, sheets. So you kind of want to be prepped for a little bit of a mess. And then you just by having the parchment to catch everything makes it so much easier in the cleanup. Okay, so this is everything out of the dehydrator. And you're going to have to bear with me because I'm doing this by hand. I don't have the tripod. I can't use the tripod and try to explain to you what I'm doing here. But if you see off to the left here, we have the pick suite. And then next to it is the uh, bird's eye. And you can see volume wise, bird's eye definitely has more per package. And uh, the bird's eye is a 10 ounce bag, whereas the pick suite is a 10 ounce bag also. So volume wise, you're getting more per the bag 
with the bird's eye product. Now I took out on all of it a half a cup and that was at the front of the video that I used and I cooked so that you could see the textures of all of them. And uh, the bird's eye, excuse me, the pig sweet only did a half a cup. That's a huge difference. Whereas the bird's eye has a full cup. Now color wise, I think they're probably real similar in color. Obviously the bird's eye appears to be a little bit thicker, but you could definitely break it down smaller. But the pig's wheat is more like a little rice. Okay, now getting on to the frozen organic Trader Joe's. Now on the Trader Joe's frozen, and that's the organic, it's about a full cup. Color-wise, real similar comparison. This is my parboiled cauliflower rice, and I can definitely see a difference in color um, between the, the just the uh, raw going in and the parboil. Let me see if I can put them side by side and you see the difference. This one definitely has a little bit more golden color to it than the, this. This stayed a little bit more white. So I don't know if that makes a big difference to you or not when you're buying just the uh, cauliflower rice out of your uh, refrigeration section in your uh, the vegetable department that's not frozen. I don't think it makes much of a difference. So it's just personal preference, but it's pretty close to being the same. Now let me do volume. Okay, this is a, a 16 ounce bag. Now, remember I took it out for the testing at the front, so there's not gonna be as much, but I took out equally amounts. And I've only got, I'm gonna call it a third of a cup of cauliflower rice on the fresh. But like I said, I mix the, uh, the parboiled and the, uh, the raw together and I don't notice much of a difference. Okay, the last thing I've got here is my head of cabbage that I grated. And I have got the parboiled, and then I put in just the raw. And there is a difference on that also. Not much, but the one here is definitely a little bit wider than this one here. And uh, I can't really do volume on that because that was just a head of cabbage, but... Uh, and like I said, I just hand grated this. I didn't put it in a food processor, but if you wanted to make it more like a cauliflower rice, you could definitely break it down. But if you're gonna do volume, definitely get the food processor out. It both breaks down just the same, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reconstitute these and then see which one, if there's any difference or not. So, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna take an eighth of a cup of each one and I'm going to put in a eighth of a cup of water. And see how much water we need to do to reconstitute them. This one is the uh, the uh, um, fresh, and then back here I have my fresh head of cauliflower. So I'm going to put in let's try an eighth of a cup first of water. Okay, so this is the finished product here, and for each eighth of a cup of cauliflower, I added in a quarter cup of water. So I cooked it for four minutes, and I ended up adding in an additional eighth of a cup. So a quarter cup per eighth of a cup of cup of uh, cauliflower. Now the only one that, and I find really strange, is this pick sweet here. And the pick sweet still has quite a bit of moisture and I don't know why it's not taking that water 
each other one. This is the bird's eye. This is the frozen, um, oh, sorry, trying to do this and uh, film at the same time. The frozen organic Trader Joe's. This is the raw Trader Joe's. And all the moisture has gone out of each one of them. And then this is the head of cauliflower that I shredded. And the moisture is completely gone. And I used the same amount. And yet there's still water floating in this pick sweet. All right, on the pick sweet, there's still quite a bit of moisture that's coming out of my cauliflower rice. And I'm gonna say easy half of this eighth of a cup of moisture still in here. I don't get that, but I'm gonna go ahead and give the pick sweet a try. Now, on the fresh that I did in the microwave at the start, it tasted a lot like onion. Cooked, dehydrated, I don't taste the onion so much. I'm actually tasting the carrots. Okay, on the bird's eye, then I've not added anything to these. A little, not as firm, a little bit more cooked than the pig sweet. Pig sweet actually is kind of crunchy. Where the bird's eye is a little mushy. And I see what my daughter's saying that when she does her products that she's doing keto, she said the bird's eye is mushy and it breaks down too much. So pig sweet with the vegetables in it, I would have to say that the pig sweet cauliflower rice would be a little bit better of a texture. This is a little mushy. But if you wanted to do something like baked potato, um, uh, mashed potato, I would say probably the bird's eye. Wow. Okay. Trader Joe's organic frozen rice instantaneously when I tried it I tried this before I just did this salt but it's full of flavor this you could heat up you wouldn't have to add any salt and it would be perfect just as it is I could eat a bowl of this I'm gonna try the uh, Trader Joe's rice cauliflower That has a good texture to it, but it's more like the cauliflower feel that you're used to. And this is the raw that I did. So we have the raw from Trader Joe's, and then we have the grated cauliflower that I did. And I have to say overall, the fresh cauliflower that I grated has a much better flavor to it than a rice cauliflower that's already grated. Huge difference. So if you're thinking about doing volume and you're wanting to dehydrate, I highly recommend ricing your own cauliflower. Don't buy the pre-made stuff. I don't taste anything in that. Why, I don't know. I don't know what they're using. Just saying. And out of the three, the pick sweet, the bird's eye, and the uh, uh, Trader Joe's organic with the salt in it, by far is the best. You could eat this by the spoonfuls, but it's also costly. So it depends on what you're wanting to do. If you don't want to dehydrate these at all, and you're just looking for a good cauliflower rice, I would suggest getting some frozen Trader Joe's. Some people out there don't have it. Um, so then my suggestion, so then the suggestion would be out of both products, what's the better product? They're both completely different in consistency. Like I said, the bird's eye, which was this one here, 
much mushier consistency. So if you're wanting to do something where you mash it, make maybe a potato out of it, mashed potato with some cheese, I would say get the bird's eye. And as far as the pick sweets concerned, I'm going to stay away from pick sweets. I'm not even going to say. Don't even waste your time with it. It, it. It's spongy and it shoots the water out. I don't know what's going on with it. It's not even absorbing the water. It's, it, I don't know if you can see it or not. See the liquid down in there? It's just, I don't get it. So something that's not absorbing the water, that kind of scares me. So definitely the two bird's eye. You can still do things with it. Trader Joe's. That's oh, awesome. And out of the two, don't waste your money on buying the pre. Unless you're just wanting to not hassle with doing it yourself, then buy this. But flavor overall. And this is... And I've not drained any water out of this at all. And that's the cauliflower rice. It's almost, this has almost even got a fluffier texture to it. All right, final thoughts. Definitely for sure, I would do your fresh cauliflower. Go ahead and chop them up, get them in a food processor, break it down, and dehydrate it. Do I notice the difference between blanching them first and um, put them in the dehydrator raw? Not, not much, not much of a difference. If you're gonna do bigger pieces of cauliflower, I would say definitely blanch them first. It won't turn out as gold, but the cauliflower rice taste, look, there's not a huge difference. So go ahead and just break it down and dehydrate it. Thoughts on frozen? Bird's eye is probably what I would use um, over the pick sweet. And uh, I love the Trader Joe's. And uh, just an idea, just for a healthy meal, is I just put a dab of butter in and then Parmesan cheese in this uh, cauliflower rice. Super good. The neat thing about dehydrating is this is shelf stable for years, for years. You wanna see a video on how to suck the uh, air out? I've got a video down below of how to use your food savers. Um, I've had problems with putting it in food saver bags. Anything that's real dry like this and pokey, you'll suck the air out and it'll poke a hole in your food saver bag. So I, I would just suggest go ahead and putting it in the jars and checking out the videos that you can actually suck the air out of your uh, jars. But uh, yeah, hands down, over and over again, I would do fresh cauliflower, get it in the dehydrator. And anybody that's out there looking for healthier alternatives over rice, or pastas, definitely your dehydrated cauliflower. I'll buy the quarts of uh, soup from Sprouts, like the bell pepper or the tomato, and I'll mix my cauliflower in. And then just you have like just something else into your soups. And especially people out around the out on the road, truck drivers, have some soup. You can have some dehydrated cauliflower or even mixed vegetables. I've got videos on that. And uh, you can definitely add some vegetables to your soups and things to get a healthier alternative than eating at truck stops. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. And I hope you all have a blessed day.